Hey guys, you're welcome to Accelerate News. Again, today I have a very special collection of guests sitting with me, but don't go anywhere, we'll be right back. Like I said the last time, it's not every time that I get to have special, beautiful ladies chilling with me in the studio. I have Miss Ufoma McDermott and Ifoma Fafunwa, the masterminds behind Here Word. How are you doing today? We're very well, thank you. Yeah, very good. How was your week? <laughs> <laughs> big one wasn't it yes big week yes. i know you've been working with the ladies in the makoko community and that is winding to a close now so how has that experience been for both of you um hmm. <laughs> for me uh as as right as writer and director i've been with the women slightly longer yeah uh just discovering learning about makoko and a different community in itself sure. has been interesting and rewarding yeah. but um we've started now to come to our, we've done our first show yeah. and it was um it was a week with rain and <laughs> excitement right. and sure. of course it's outside sure. and on a platform yes. so you can imagine what that was like of course, um, she <laughs> will tell you because she had to like, get on she's stage. She's just blushing. I need to hear. I need to hear her. Anger. It was, um, you, you know, I think with acting, with any actor, the the ability to show dexterity under certain situations yeah. is always. And if you're able to succumb, you know, overcome them, sure. you look back and you smile like, "Wow, I did that!" You know, so that's the kind of experience it was for us. Okay. Um, Makoko was an entirely new. Um, not new to here, but new to experience community, so, uh, to come one on one with the people, see okay. how excited they were about yeah. receiving us, yeah. and they did receive us well. They treated awesome. us well. That's great. Yes, you um, know. Um, if I'm, I know you through one of the workshops. You were able to get some of the ladies from the community to be a part of the show in Makoko. What was the like? The how did the audience react? Just seeing people from their community coming to act like in ways they never thought possible. I think that was one of the highlights of it, yeah. is um, just having them, there's a piece we do in Here Word yeah. called Asha, where women just gossip about mm. other women. Mm. And so we translated that and changed it for their own issues yeah. and in their own um, Egun language. Oh, wow. So to hear it in Egun language and have, you know, the, the, the platform is, so was surrounded by boats yeah. and then a landmass. So oh, wow. just to have these echoes coming yeah. from yeah. Yeah. It's, it's amazing. It's I, mean, yes. I think that's one of the rewarding things when you just know that yes, this is the effort that we put in, and you're just sitting back and just having those lines delivered to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, Ufoma, now I know you're part of the original cast. Yes. When you received the brief for the role, what was your what what came to mind? Tell me. You mean initially? <laughs> yes. I mean, of course, because it's a very interesting piece. This is M. <laughs> My God, it was quite an experience, and I think I need a whole hour oh, to wow. explain. Yes. you know coming into the group <laughs> I tell you it was it was fascinating oh, wow. coming from TV to yeah. stage and you know I was all decked up and <laughs> didn't go down so oh, good yeah. <laughs> you know but you yes now. what 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 I've had I, I keep saying to people in my career I've had the good graces to work with yeah. awesome actors awesome producers, awesome directors who've pulled me in. Sure. And even in places where I, I have not had the trainings or the ability to pull forth, they, they've always been there to say, you know what, you can do it, you will do it, and I have done it with them. Awesome, help. That's, that's great to hear. Yeah. She's, now, she's tough. Yeah. <laughs> she's good. Talk to me about what is the present landscape like when it comes to gender and women issues in Nigeria? Well, I mean, I think that's a whole, um, that's a whole hour, like she said, on its oh, own. But, um, but yeah, I think things are changing. Mm. Uh, we have a very patriarchal system. Mm. It's, it's, it's changing for the younger generation, but you can see a pull around the world towards mm. traditional values. Yeah. However, gender inequality yeah. has never been as bad as it is now sure. in the history of Africa. Oh, wow. Wow. Yes, it's never been this bad. I mean, I think because all the roles that women used to play before, yes. Yaloja, Yaloje, yes. yes. you know, yes. all those things have disappeared and you have now the new influx of people interpreting biblical text mm. their own way. So what you have is, is a situation where young people just don't 
You know what I mean? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Wow, that, 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 that's interesting to hear. Now, um, Ufama, I have to ask you, what role do you think the emerging generation can play in, you know, just addressing some of these issues? Um, one of the things we usually say with here, what is as much as possible, we yeah. want to affect um, younger mothers. Sure. So, for example, we believe that uh, the result of the society would start from you as a mother, how you bring up your boys, how you bring up your girls, mm -hmm. what do you say to them, mm -hmm. how do you let your brother feel around his sisters, mm -hmm. does he feel he's better than them, does he feel like he must be served. Quite sensitive. Exactly, so we believe that if the younger ones are able to take all of these, we have younger mothers who will be bringing up their families mm -hmm. better and then sure. releasing better people into the society. Awesome, mm -hmm. thanks for sharing. Mrs. F, how that happened? So <laughs> how did that go? Like, what's the experience like? What's the difference between being here and just being on such a platform? Well, I mean, the first thing I noticed was that um, here you're watching every single thing. <laughs> and when I got to Harvard and yes. there was a group of like 40 people who are going to work on this project, oh, wow. and I found myself micromanaging mm -hmm them and they thought what is wrong with you I have to, I have to <laughs> apologize that look you know in Nigeria you have to yeah yeah you have to check whether the guy checked the bathroom you know <laughs> um, so that was the big difference but it was it was such an awesome um, experience and it really was um, a big thing for women and for Nigeria to go out there first time um, Nigerian play mm -hmm. and be featured and have 10 women showcase awesome solutions yes. on stage on stage yes wow. now i need to get to you okay the street storm <laughs> how did you handle that because i saw pictures and i was just like this looks this must be nerve-wracking how did you how did you cope you know a, a lot of times when we do the show or we yeah. talk and we talk to people we always have questions and they're like oh you know um we, we're not the people who need this, the rural mm. people, the people in the rural areas need this, the rural women need this, and we say, guess what, it starts mm. with each and every one, one of, of us. us. So the same energy we take when we're having this show in the big theater yes. in Harvard is the same energy we take when we're having the street storm oh, wow. in Mushin or in Bariga, or because we believe everybody fits into it's one piece of the puzzle. It's amazing that you have such a large audience <laughs> in this country. And now we're back in Lagos. Yes. August. Back in Lagos. So what should the audience expect this time? Because Hereward is one of the most, I mean, the last time it went, it trended on social media. Yes. And this time everybody's just asking what's coming next, what's, what's next? coming next. So let the people at home know what, do they, what should they expect in August when Hereward returns. Well, in, in August, it's the show is the same you know, format yes. of 10 incredible women yes. sharing solutions and highlighting issues that hold them back. Yeah. Basically, it's, it's, the same, it's the same show. Okay. People have come back to see it five times. Yeah. Some people have seen it nine times. And I think that's the great thing, just wanting to, because sometimes theater, I think, is very immersive and you can't really absorb all. And because you, there's no way to play it back or rewind, you just have to you go have back to go again. Time. Exactly. Thank so you for I'm, bringing it back. That's, that's, yeah. that's, that, that contributes a lot to the entertainment space. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. So we're um, looking forward, forward to seeing everybody 5th and 6th of August. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Thank yes. you. So before we wrap this up, Ufama, you have to give us a line from one of your monologues. I hope... I didn't throw her under the bus. I just needed to hear that before we wrap up. <laughs> I'm going to do a very easy one. Uh, yeah, yeah. And I'll leave it hanging. Just let's have it. Just but I hope it. that people will get the magic word in we'll the come, sentence. We'll come, and, we'll come and watch it on stage. Is it magic word? She just gave us the Men they crease. That's it. <laughs> Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Thank I always you. love when I have guests. I, to balance that, I have to give a line also. Yeah. Take and it away. that's, um, I can't fit in a box that's two sizes too small for this bold, beautiful me. Excuse She's me. bold and beautiful. Thank you. Thank you very much for capping that off. Right. So I love it when I have guests come join me in the show. And I hope that the rest of the cast can stop by whenever they get the chance. Make sure you catch all the awesome content stored and waiting for you on our website. And also catch the latest episode of The Wrap Up with Tools. Here, Word returns to theaters on the 5th and 6th of August. Make sure you get a ticket, invite your friends, post about it on social media, and let us know what your thoughts are after seeing the show. We'll see you guys on Monday. High five, everybody.